sleep. It never feels like we're getting enough. And a 2009 A.C. Nielsen and Phillips study proves that feeling to be true. The study found that a remarkable 93% of Indians are not sleeping enough, making India one of the most sleep-deprived countries in the world. The basic thing about the functions of sleep, of what sleep really does, people are still trying to figure out, and we, but we do know from experience that if you do not sleep well, the day, what is the day like? And that everybody has experienced. Sleep specialist Dr. Manvir Bhatia runs a sleep center in Hazka's enclave. Patients come to her clinic to help pinpoint the cause of their restless nights, which can cause serious health problems if left untreated. It could be physical health, it could be mental health. It also has an impact on the internal systems, like the endocrine system, the cardiac system, the GI system. We did know it makes you feel good, but now people have gone into the depth of each system and come out with these answers. There are 82 known sleep disorders, and most of Dr. Bhatia's patients suffer from the two most common ones. Insomnia, which is when you have trouble falling asleep, and sleep apnea, which is when irregular breathing interrupts your sleep cycle. For about 10 to 15,000 rupees, a sleep center like this one can conduct a full sleep evaluation called a polysomnogram. This test analyzes 16 physical functions while you sleep. It tracks everything from muscle movement to brain activity. Patient comes in usually by about 9 o'clock at night after dinner in loose comfortable clothing. Lights are usually switched off at a time when the patient is usually near to their bedtime and the technician monitors it throughout the night. This type of test is considered the most accurate and after a full night's rest Dr. Bhatia evaluates the results. So this is what a normal kind of a graph looks like that the sleep is pretty good, homogeneous, the breathing is regular, oxygen is about 98, 97, which is the normal scenario. And this is what happens in a patient with apnea, that there is a pause or the breathing just stops. When the breathing stops, it's like a signal from the oxygen levels and the blood levels, etc. A message goes to the brain that something is not okay. So it wakes the person up and it happens repetitively at night. It's not a one-time phenomenon. So maybe in two minutes, it'll happen about one, two, three, four, five times. So in about one hour, it's multiplied by that many times. So people get a little scared, thinking as to that many times they stop breathing. So this is what translates into tiredness, poor sleep, um, sleepy during the day, inability to concentrate. In addition, the oxygen levels drop and every time that this happens, it pushes up the blood pressure, pushes the blood sugar, and changes lining of the arteries. So what does Dr. Bhatia recommend for a good night's sleep? Decrease stimulation towards the end of the day. Start relaxing the mind or the brain towards the end of the day. Fix wake times and fix bed times. These are like the kind of simple rules. Of the $33 billion global sleep aid industry, India makes up about 10%. But only a few percent of Indian people who are in need and can afford it go in for sleep treatment. Despite this, analysts say sleep test patients will continue to double every two years.